Hi, welcome back. Um, I have to recreate the installation of the Ansible Tower and the uh, mini ship. Um, for the reason that um, I am not really representing on my previous video the true job of uh, DevOps, right? Because uh, it's manual. When you do a DevOps job, everything should be automized. It's supposed to be almost as much as possible that you can do automation. And I didn't do that. So I'm recreating this video. Um, I already created the, the GitHub. And um, this is just basically defining the, the role. The main roles is on this one okay there's a task main um, installing the what is needed on the ansible right so it needs all this and it needs to download the ansible tower extracted and also the editing of the the inventory right it's also automation you don't have to do you don't have to log in you don't have to bi or bim or nano the the files it will just do it automatically for you but um, on the last interaction that you need to execute the ssh setup um, you have to execute it manually i can execute it on you can execute Ansible on inside Ansible, but the problem is you cannot see any log, right? So, I think this is better rather than you just wait. Oh, what is happening? Oh, what is happening? And you know, I'm getting tired and so, it's, it's as, as, as I said, as much as possible, do uh, as much as possible automa automation you can do. But this is, this is convenient. You will see the, the message at least. So basically here um, when when I extract that I put the register so that I can get the, the main folder so that when I get the main folder right it will be some kind of uh, ansible dust tower 3222 folder and it will he will put it there so that I can reference the, the template and also when you execute it so it will be displayed later on with a proper instruction there um, so without further ado let's uh, restore this one with the previous snapshot but there's no actual power yet so let, let's log into the console Who is this Uh, <coughs> okay, so let's read the instruction. Um, let's... So basically, this part are done, and Ansible is running. Is it Ansible running? Okay, so we will do the SSH now let's verify if there's SSH and there's SSH let's see if it's copied on the local host itself no so you have to answer yes and put the root password Okay, and we should be able to do the clone now. And CD to tower. And then we can execute the playbook.
Okay, as you can see, it's done now, and um, there's an instruction here, right? Execute this now, blah blah blah. So you copy this one, and you right click and right. It's like the the one I I demonstrated previously, and this one will take about I don't know 12 to 15 minutes. So anyway, you don't have to wait because I I. I've sh shown you previously without without posing it. Okay, it's done. Let's see if it's going to execute. And let's log it again with admin and password. And this is the first thing you will see it the first time you uh, run the Ansible tower so meaning this is really came from a, a new installation so let's pause that and let's go to mini ship which is the mini me of open ship and let's go to this one it's right it's installed already this right <laughs> discuss um, you cannot do this on fully automation on doing to itself probably on another computer right but uh, we're not doing that we don't have a dedicated uh, Ansible playbook or, or tower so we have to do this manually and that was already done so the only thing we need to do I think is the get an Ansible and the SSH key thing and if we s take a look on the the main uh, variables, just it's just executing this one. Um, I got time. We don't really need to run it in four virtual CPUs. Anyway, it's six, eighty gig, eight gig. From up here, um, they should be in a sixteen and six, six processor. So we, can we run that. And this one is disconnected. So beautiful. And let's see you the main YAML. So it's installing the KVM, the uh, enabling the service and starting it, downloading the mini ship, extracting it, putting it to the bin, downloading the KVM uh, driver. Putting it to the bin, changing the ownership and executable. Uh, downloading the OC, the uh, OpenShift client, and uh, extracting, moving to the bin, and what else? And then executing the mini ship with the changes on the parameter that it needs to be for CPU and so on. Just have some kind of instruction that if you don't see the login, you should type OC login. So back on the putty, the mini ship is here, and forever which Ansible. There's no Ansible yet, so let's install get and Ansible. So let's generate it.
will take a long time, right? So it's running the mini ship now. <laughs> So this is the true way of a DevOps job. That as much as possible you do automation, not manual. Even the the creation of the 